Hi, I'm Ginny Miller of Health Freedom Monterey, and I'm joined today by my good friend, Ginny Stebbins. Hi, Ginny, how you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. Hi. All right, the two Ginnies, spelled the same way, are here today to tell you all about something that we both feel very passionately about, and that is spreading the word about something known as terrain biomedicine and how it contrasts with germ theory. So Health Freedom Monterey is hosting a special showing of a movie called Terrain. This movie was produced by a um, great movie producer named Marcelina Cravat in conjunction with Dr. Andrew Kaufman, who's an MD and a psychiatrist in New York. The movie locally will be shown in two parts. Part one will be this Wednesday, March 30th from 6.30 to 8.30. And part two will be two weeks later, Wednesday, April 13th, also 6.30 to 8.30. We have the beautiful facility, um, the Center for Spiritual Awakening in Pacific Grove hosting us. And um, the reason we're doing two parts is we want to offer some question and answer time. So part one, you'll get an hour of the movie, and then the second hour will be Q&A, and same with part two. We are very fortunate to have in our own backyard here um, a member of Dr. Andrew Kaufman's support team. His name is Jonathan Rogers. He's become a member of Health Freedom Monterey. He was a guest speaker recently, and he can help answer questions that may come up after seeing this incredible movie. If you want to learn more about the movie Terrain, you can go to their website. It's terrainthefilm.com, all run together. And Jenny and I, um, we've both seen the movie and it just really um, hit a chord for both of us. We feel very uh, strongly that the world needs to see this movie. And we found very profound quotes on that website. I'm gonna read the first one. The truth must be told for humanity to emerge and reclaim the earth from whence they were born, within and without. And the second one. I like that one too. Uh, terrain motivates and inspires viewers to understand the responsibility and power of consent. Hmm. Power of consent. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that relevant today? Very. Yeah, because we need informed consent. That's what we're not getting. Yeah. Uh, so the cool thing is they um, these producers enlisted um, contributions from a number of experts, doctors, researchers in the health freedom truth movement today. Um, many of them you probably already know. But uh, I'll list a few. So Dr. Tom Cowan and Sally Fallon, they are the co-authors of the book Contagion Myth, which came out early in the um, COVID-19 business. Uh, they also, though, years ago, wrote Nourishing Traditions. So that's all about the Weston A. Price diet. There's uh, a lot of contribution from Stefan Lanka, who's a German biologist and former virologist researcher who's been speaking out about germ theory, theory for many years. Um, one of my favorites, Kelly Brogan, a holistic psychiatrist, along with her husband, Sayer G, who's a great researcher and author of a book called Regenerate. And Ginny, tell them about a few other people. Yeah, uh, Veda Austin is a water researcher, and she's worth looking up just because very interesting work she does. Uh, Tony Roman is a restaurant owner in New York who never shut his doors. Uh, Alphonse Fagiolo is a common law expert. Uh, Peggy Hall, educator and activist. And Dr. Sam Bailey, who has an amazing YouTube channel, and she also co-authored a book called Virus Mania. So cool. I love all those people. Yeah. Heroes. Very brave too. So we realize that if someone hears this type of premise um, for the first time, or maybe they've been hearing it on the periphery of the whole truth movement, but um, haven't 
really investigated because it, it sounded just too wackadoodle. <laughs> They, they would have a lot of questions that come up when you hear that maybe a virus has never been proven to exist. Um, so some of the things that you might wonder about that could get answered by coming to watch this movie would be things like, well, um, you know, if there's so many experts, virologists, vaccine researchers all over the world that believe that they have actually seen viruses and proven that they um, they are responsible for certain diseases. How could they all be wrong? You know, that just doesn't make sense. So that's a question. What's another one that people might have? Mm -hmm. The first question I had is if it's not a virus, then why are people getting sick? Yep. Yep. That's a big one. People, especially if they know people that got sick during the last two years. Um, so number three would be, there are all these experts that claim there are is a genetic sequence that has been discovered that is specific for a novel virus they're calling SARS-CoV-2. What is that all about if there really is no virus? Right. Uh, also, if there is no virus, what are the PCR and antibody tests actually finding? Right. And so more and more experts are um, having doubts that those tests are even valid. Um, so, that's a huge question I'm sure people have, especially when they've been putting so much stock in the outcome of these tests. So coming to see the movie, <laughs> you will start to, you'll, you'll have your whistle wet as to what some of the explanations could be. And then having the opportunity to ask Jonathan questions um, is, is just really valuable. Something that you, you wouldn't get just by purchasing the movie. Um, and we'll have discussion amongst our, our fellow uh, HFM members. And so in conclusion, Jenny and I just want to tell you from our hearts why we personally think it's well worth your time to come to these events, to, to learn about this potentially just earth-shaking, paradigm-shifting premise. Um, so for me, I just feel that if it turns out the germ theory is not valid, that, you know, we don't have to be afraid of these little invisible particles that can make anybody sick, no matter what, um, then it takes away an instrument that the powers that are trying to control things have been using for forever to scare people, right? So rather than actually being concerned about our health, it really appears to many of us that it's all about control and the way you control a population is through fear. So if it turns out that we don't have to be afraid of the next crazy virus that comes out, even if it's you know so-called created in a lab <laughs> and we don't have to worry that there's some new virulence strain, and they're already talking about a BA2 that Fauci might have to uh, lock us all up for again, <laughs> then, you know, how, how empowering is that, that we don't have that to be afraid of? And, and how do you feel about it, Jenny? Well, it's just liberating to know that there is not a virus out there that's going to make you or other people sick. And it's time to look at what's really affecting people's health on the planet and what we can do to be resilient. Yeah, so good point, because that is the other part of this movie. It's not just negating the germs. It's saying what is making people sick. So that is investigated. And what can we do about these other things that are making people sick? There's lots of solutions offered. Um, you, you have many things that you can easily bring into your life, ways to reduce exposures to things that could be making your sick, you sick. And so with knowledge comes power and the ability to make informed choices. And that's really what this is all about, to, to inform you to the best of um, anyone's ability to understand what's going on and you know, bring our planet out of just survival into full ability to thrive and be vibrant and resilient and have just 
a wonderful, wonderful life. So <laughs> that's the reason we encourage you to join us. We'd love to see you all. Um, whoever provided you with this video and maybe with a flyer can also provide you with a link to our Eventbrite where you can pre-order your tickets. We would love it if you pre-order your ticket um, so that we know you're coming. But if you have to make a last minute decision, you can purchase at the door for just a couple more dollars. And um, yeah, just see what you can do. I think it will be well worth your time to show up to this and we will all learn together. Yes, this is extremely important information and I hope to see you all there. Yeah, thank you so much, Jenny, for helping me get the word out. Yeah, thank you too. Okay, bye everybody, take care. <laughs>